How you doing, everybody? Time for a little update on the club cart build. Uh, we've been making pretty good progress, so uh, let me show you how we've been doing. So as you know, uh, Steve's son, Steven, he's been filming uh, our activities and doing the uh, editing on Steve's videos. But he also uh, made some t-shirts. I want to show you. He has them on Etsy. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below. But I wanted you to see him. Uh, he, uh, he picked uh, Gildan t-shirts. These are a heavy cotton. I think uh, probably four ounce. Uh, I buy a lot of t-shirts, so uh, I buy the six ounce, so I know this is a good shirt. Uh, but this first one is the Cycle Cart Club. And uh, on the back is the larger Cycle Cart Club. He also did one a while back. Here's the Cycle Cart Club, and right underneath Cycle Cart Club it says the Cycle Cart Workshop. And on the back, Design, Build, Race, Repeat, and My Four Cars. And then he also made this shirt, the Cycle Cart Club, and underneath it says Vincent's Garage. And on the back, is Steve's four cars. So I gotta hand it to Steven for being creative and coming up with these. So uh, if you need a t-shirt, go on the website there and uh, help Steven out. Okay, so let me show you some other things we're up to. We have been progressing with the top of the car. Um, a while back I'd done this piece over the seat and then Steve, Steve had made this cow piece turned out real nice. It's got a little bit of overhang right here. And uh, he roughed out a couple of hood pieces. Um, and he said uh, that I could go ahead and fit them. So I started messing around with it. And uh, the first order of business was to make this radiator support nice and strong and plumb and uh, level, so to speak. So I did that using these two panels and uh, while I was at it, I cut out for the uh, tie rods. I had to set up the steering because uh, if I wanted to commit to these panels, I needed to get these cut. So uh, you can see how I did that with a straight rod. I don't have the components yet to put it together. Um, Here's the little jig I used to cut the opening. Here's a pattern that I made. And then um, I had roughed out, you can see it right there, the steering bracket. I have a little room to move it up and down. I haven't exactly decided on the location. Here was a little template pattern. Um, this can slide up or down and it articulates this bearing here so the angle might change a little and that's okay, no problem. Um, so, uh, bear with me while I set this hood up on here. Okay, so he roughed it out. I have to finesse it into shape. Um, Shouldn't be too much trouble. Uh, but in order to get this hood to fit right, this needs to be basically in its permanent location along with the side panels. These are already headed in that direction. They're where they belong. But before we rivet these side panels on, we wanted to paint this steel structure. It's the center structure right around the cockpit. So, uh, those panels are all held on with uh, Cleco, so I'm going to remove them. I'm going to take out this center steel frame. It's designed to do that. Uh, clean it up and shoot it with some black uh, Rust-Oleum or something. Then I can put it back in the car and commit to riveting these panels on. Because I need this panel to be where it's going to live. And that allows everything else to really come together properly. So. It'll be a lot of fun. So let's see where I can get with this thing. So you might have noticed these plywood pieces and this one here 
on the nose. Well, there's three location where we're, locations on the car where we're going to use foam to create the compound shapes. And one is the radiator, the rear cover, and down underneath the body here, which uh, you can see how uh, right here would be the lower part, and then the cover, along with the tail, and then the radiator. So uh, they're not quite finished yet, but they're heading in the right direction, and before long, um, I'll be working on those. Uh, Steve rounded up a nice foam block. It should be more than enough to cut out the three basic shapes. And I have a hot wire cutter. You might have seen me use it in previous videos. So we'll get that out and have a little fun. So here I have removed all the parts from this central frame and the screws that held it in place so it's ready to lift out. Then I can wash it down, sand it, prep it, shoot it with some black paint. Our goal has been to allow the body to come off the chassis for service, for painting, you name it. Uh, the tub will be uh, a separate piece, we believe. Maybe it'll come out with this uh, center frame. We'll see. Uh, but the point is, you can take it all apart. So my plan is to uh, use the white primer and then the black paint on the, uh, that subframe. I've got it outside now. I've cleaned it up and uh, I have this little paint shaker here. It's called a Shake Right. Bought it for about uh, $45, I think it was, plus some shipping. Uh, it's a pretty cool little thing. It works nice. I'll show you how it, how it works. It comes with this little attachment here you just plug in. It says to do it for about a minute. I've had this a while. I don't hear the little ball inside yet. There it is. Things are moving along with the subframe. I have it painted and uh, I'm pretty much ready to put it back in the car. I would say this is looking pretty good. Um, this is an important step in getting this piece painted. Uh, so now we can skin it and we don't have to worry about the steel rusting in the future. As you can see, I have uh, installed the side panels and uh, the cowl and then I finished solidifying the radiator support have a string line for the center line these clicos along here will allow the body to come away from the chassis uh, right now uh, there's nothing attached to the chassis. The rivets just attach to the other pieces. So I took some poster board and I made a pattern that'll fit right here. There'll be a hinge right here, piano hinge. And uh, I've transferred, or I'm getting ready to transfer it onto this uh, piece that Steve made. And as you can see, it just makes it. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to work on that next. Try to get it to fit. But I think I'll do that in our next update. Uh, I need to get uh, Kendall's at Porsche Experimental and my monocar ready for this coming weekend. So uh, that'll be all for uh, this update. Um, like and subscribe. Check out uh, Steve's uh, 
channel for his update. And uh, we'll take some video of our uh, trip down to Wilcox. Thanks for watching, everybody.